Hi, I'm Aaron Barnes, and this is The Bigger Picture. You know, there's a lot of talk about who's really the plug. Who's the person you go to to get something done? The person you call when you're in a tight spot and you need to make something happen? You know, in the music industry, perhaps the unanimous decision for who the plug really is was probably Clarence Avant. Now, before he was known throughout the industry as a guru and godfather of black music, Clarence Avant got his start in Greensboro, North Carolina, in Newark, New Jersey. He got his start in the music business as a general manager for Teddy P's Lounge in Newark, and it was there where he met an up-and-coming soul singer named Little Willie. Now, not Pretty Willie. Little Willie. Never know how much I love you. Not yet. Never not yet. Know how now, Little Willie eventually got Avant to become his manager on the road, and it was from these humble beginnings where Avant's career took off, because from then he moved to Los Angeles, met his mentor, Joe Glazer, and his career really caught steam. He went on to manage artists whose names I'm not really familiar with, people like Sarah Vaughn and Jimmy Smith, Lalo Schifrin, and all different types of artists who were probably inspirations to the artists who we come to know today. Beyond that, he also launched two record companies and he established the first FM radio broadcast in Los Angeles Metro. You know, more than these achievements though, Avant was known throughout the music industry as the plug, the guy you go to when you're in a tight spot. He was the person who music upstarts went to to get those key introductions. Record producers who carry those titles now People like Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, L.A. Reid, and Babyface all credit their success to Clarence Avant. Matter of fact, music mogul Sean Combs once told a reporter that when he got into a tight spot, when he got into trouble, he did what we all did at that time, called Clarence Avant to solve his problem. Avant's accomplishments and services in the music industry won him a ton of awards, including the National Association of Recording Arts and Sciences Trustees Award and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Maybe even more impressive than all of that is the fact that Avant got so big in the music industry that he was able to refuse the call of the King of Pop when he invited him to manage his tour, his first tour, since he and his brothers were on tour. Matter of fact, he didn't just deny him once, but three times. However, this wasn't a call that he denied forever. In fact, Michael Jackson's Bad Tour, managed by Clarence Avant, became the second highest grossing tour in the 80s, second only to Pink Floyd. What's especially dope about Clarence Avant's rise to fame and success is that most of his accomplishments and contributions to the field were behind the scenes, where he served as a connective tissue between the establishment and rising music upstarts, serving as a key liaison between people who wanted to get to the top and those who managed the top. He provided the key introductions, advice, and business savvy in order to help people reach their musical potential. And in this way, Clarence Avant helps us see the bigger picture. Thanks for watching.